Don't be a hoe. He's like, yo, don't be a bitch. Train like Rich. I'm Joe Rich, bitch. And uh, today's topic is cheat meal versus refeed day. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go right ahead and say X day on the cheat meal. Because um, why the frig would you go all week tracking everything down, hitting your numbers, and go ahead and have a cheat meal? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna spike your metabolism, but um, you know that guy uh, behind you, next to you, or aside of you, is giving that little much extra. You know he's having a real refeed day. When I say refeed day, I mean you know. Uh, AKA carb cycling, bringing the carbs up. Hold on, I gotta ha gotta have have some of my cereal. Mm hmm. That's so good. That's so good right now. Much needed. But yeah, refeed day. Like so, let's say your you know your your carbs are looking like you know two hundred or two twenty five throughout the week. Then you go ahead and you you might you know jump it up one day uh, during the week and bump it up to like. You know, 350, 400, or 600, depending on if you're in an off season or not. So, and track and really know exactly what you're Because if you're going out and having a a cheap meal, let's say you're going to. What's a good place to eat, Brad, for having a cheap meal? Panos. Panos. Or Outback, or I don't know, McDonald's. Oh, God. Don't. Ew. I take that back. Not McD Long John Silver's. Let's say you're going to have a fish fry, right? Hold on. Cereal time. Mm. Oh, man. That's so good. That is so good. And you're, you're consuming all this, uh, a meal. And, like, you could be eating, like, over 120 grams of fat, carbs through the roof. And you, they, your whole week gets thrown off. And then a lot of people will come and say, like, you know, how do you get so lean? You know, I'm having a cheat meal or a cheat day. Some of these some of these cats have a cheat day. I'm like, are you nuts? Are you nuts? The whole day, you're, and I used to do it. Oh, my God, I used to do it. Wake up, have Pop-Tarts, okay? Then a donut, okay? Then pizza. Then go to Wegmans or Tops or wherever you are. It's your su local supermarket. And had, just get ice. Oh, my God, it was horrible. I was, I was done for the next three days, you know? So... I would definitely track what you're doing on them, them higher days, you know, and, and on those days I would definitely do a, you know, a, 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 make sure it's on a heavier day, like a squat day or a, a deadlift day or both, you know, that's what I'm doing right now, it's a, my, my refeed day is on, um, it's on a squat and a dead day, so, you know, you're burning that much more calories, so you need those extra carbs to get you through, but, um, yeah, I would definitely shy away from the cheat meal, uh, don't get me wrong, Can't be like this all week long or all year long. Excuse me. You know, you got your birthday, you got your Christmas. You know, indulge, live a little, but do what I call damage control. So, if you know you're gonna have that awesome meal with the cannolis and the whatever and the apple pie and the crumb brulee and all that good shit that just tastes so good, gets you little. That makes me feel. Ooh. Damage control, man. Like cut back on your fat earlier in the day, cut back on your carbs so you can have that one meal and just go to town, like, beat that shit up bad. Ah. And that's what I gotta say about that. Hope everyone's doing good. I'm doing fantastic. About to hit the gym up. And check back tomorrow. Videos will continue. On my quest... For sub four percent body fat, what do you think of what do you think about that, Optimus? You do, huh? Autobots transform and roll out.